In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a Gantt chart for supply chain and this is how the Gantt chart looks. As you can see here, I've created the Gantt chart for six months and on the left side, I've put the step one, which is the supply inventory, raw materials, product development, final product delivery and it ends with consumer feedback. And on the right side, I've just put the timeline. So you can see here the supply inventory, that means the producer has to uh, supply this is in the very first month, then only we can proceed uh, with the other things which is the raw materials the product development which comes under the month three and then i have added a milestone here and i have put the milestone at the bottom also so then the step four is the transport company and then we we'll, for the two months uh, we get the customer feedback please share like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on youtube for powerpoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and i have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to insert table i'm going to insert seven columns so one two three four five six and seven columns and six rows so you can see here at the top also you can see seven uh, times six table just click it so the table got inserted here and reposition it increase the height and width of the table all right and then under the table design untick these both options which is banded rows and the header row now select all the table then you can see here the pen color i'm going to use any pen color which is a gray color and the borders select all borders and here the shading i'm going to fill this with white color so i end up uh, getting i mean the table looks something like this okay so once this is done the next thing which we need to do is we need to in increase the size of the very first column for that select the very first column then you can go to the table layout and you can see here the width is 1.8 inches so i'm just going to increase it okay maybe three and then it has increased from here so now i'm just going to reduce it so as you can see here this is already increased and similarly i'm going to reduce the width uh, of or the height of the very first column okay or very first row rather and here i'm going to reduce it to maybe 0.6 and the remaining ones unchanged okay so once this is done the next thing which we like to do is again select the full table go to the home and use any font which is i'm going to use a font which is open sans for full table and the color i'm going to choose as black center align then go to the table layout and make sure you tick this one which is center vertically all right once this is done now it's time to add the information so here the very first information which you, which i would like to add is here which is supply chain flow okay so i'm just going to type with the capital letters supply chain flow and then here i'm going to type month one month two and all those things okay right this is month one month two month three month four month five and month six so now what i'm going to do is this months i'm selecting and reducing the font size to a 14 and then here this one i'm going to select and make i'm going to make this as extra bold supply chain extra bold and reduce the font size to 16 so it looks something like this and one more thing which you can do is you can just give some different color combination here okay so go to the table design and shading you can give maybe a dark blue color here and then the font should be for this one should be white otherwise it will not be visible all right and for the months i'm going to give some different color combinations okay so i can start with say very light color okay or i can just start with this color which is light blue and then i'm going to make it the next color which is somewhat darker or any other color of your choice you can just choose from this okay so i'm just going to make it somewhat darker and this one so you can see here i have added total six uh, columns and then this is the header now it's time to add the steps here for that i'm going to type as step 01 and then step 01 the text should be like you can see a supply inventory okay so supply 
INVE inventory and this one I'm going to make this as open extra bold and reduce the size to 16 or maybe 14 and this one should be maybe 14 here okay so I'm just going to type step 2 here then step 3 you can just add the text step 3 step 4 and step 5 all right so even for this one also I'm just going to make it as open sans extra bold reduce the font size to 14 and then again depending on the requirement like raw materials product development all those things you can do it for example I'll just say raw or that raw materials right so here I can just say raw materials all right again make sure this is not a extra bold okay so like this you can just change it and for the rest of the steps okay so once the structure is ready now it's time to add the details here for which month the for the supply inventory has to happen the raw, when we have to procure the raw materials okay that how to do the transportations and all those things that information we need to add it here as a uh, the timeline so for that go to insert shapes from the block arrows i'm going to choose the arrow which is pentagon draw the arrow you can see here this much size shape outline make it no outline and the color should be matching with the color which we have uh, filled with uh, the the box there okay so this is the color and here i'm going to write the uh, for example i'm going to just write uh, who will be the supplier or uh, any detailed text if you want to write okay for that i'm going to make this as font size as 14 and the color i'm going to choose as black and you can just add detail text here okay so you can just replace the text so here i've used like producer supplier manufacturer but now depending on the requirement you can just change it okay so now once this is done i'm going to copy this by pressing ctrl d and put it for the next month and again change the color so you can just go here and change the color which is much more darker press ctrl d here and here you can just change the color and the text depending on the requirement and one more thing i would like to add a kind of a milestone here for that go to insert click on uh, icons here i'm going to type flag sorry and this flag i'm going to insert it and i'm going to change this color to green all right and then i'm going to make this as 0.5 very smaller one and just put it here so that you know that this is a milestone and it has to be achieved in the after the completion of the step three all right then press ctrl d to duplicate bring it here again change the color and then the last one which will drag it for two months all right and this color should be somewhat lighter than the other all right so you can see here simply we have created a gan chart for the supply chain flow and you can just go insert text box you can add a text here where i can say supply chain gan chart all right center align i'm going to use open sans extra bold increase the size and i'm going to give some gray color and that's it so you can see here and one more thing what you can do is you can just give some legends here drag this down and reduce the font size sorry the icon size to 0.3 and you have to define what is this green flag so people they don't know right so for that go to insert text box here i'm going to type milestone color i'm going to give as gray reduce the font size to maybe 12 and put it here so that you know that this is the milestone or whoever reading the gantt chart uh, clearly understand if you like to add some more information also you can just add the information or some other icons required